Hi, X Force fans. Have you noticed our new product? This is our brand new programmable dual frequency TPMS sensor, XTPMS. It covers 98% of vehicle models and features a reliable battery lasting 4 to 6 years. We've received a lot of questions on how to use this tool, and since many friends have never been engaged in TPMS business before and don't know how to use this sensor, so today we'll walk you through the whole process. Generally, there are two ways to replace TPMS sensor: copying and learning. If you know the ID number of the original sensor, or if you can confirm that the vehicle supports OBD communication, we、we'll、recommend the method of copying sensor without programming, which is easier and faster. However, if the original sensor ID number is not available, you'll need to randomly generate IDs for sensors first and program them to the car. Today, we'll demonstrate the second method: learning. If you are interested in copying sensor, you can follow our next video. Take the Ford Transit behind me as an example. We're going to be using Keytool Max Pro. You can access the TPMS function after free upgrade, and there's no need to buy additional TPMS tools. Now we press TPMS and search for the desired option of OEM number of vehicle models. Find Ford Transit. Choose the correct year. Since this car doesn't support OBD communication, the interface only has three sections: Active, Program, and Learn. You can see the detailed operations in the Learn section, and it's recommended to use the static learning method. Step one: Generate sensor. Tap on Program and choose Automatic Creation. Put a Max Pro close to the sensor. Tap on Yes to start programming. Max Pro supports simultaneous programming of multiple sensors. Now four random IDs have been generated. Step two: Installation. Install the generated new sensors on the vehicle, usually on the side of the wheel hub. Step three: Enter the learning mode. Turn off the ignition. Depress the brake for one second and then release it. Turn on the ignition. Repeat three times. Then we move to the next loop. Press the brake for one second and then release it. Turn off the ignition and then turn it on. Repeat three times. When we hear the horn and the dashboard displays, please calibrate the left front wheel. It means we have successfully entered the learning mode. Step four: Activate. Next, we place Max Pro close to the tire and tap on Activate. Activate the sensor sequentially in the order of the left front, right front, right behind, left behind, while uploading the current sensor data to the vehicle. After the activation succeeds, the vehicle will beep, indicating that the current sensor has been successfully input. After four tires are activated, they'll all turn green and display ID numbers. At the same time, the vehicle dashboard will display that the learning is complete. Well, the above is all the steps of static learning. There are several things we need to give special attention to. First, some operations are time limited. If you operate too slowly, the learning may fail. Second, there should be no distractions around the site. For example, broken sensors or other sensors should be removed 10 meters away. Finally, some models need to run for a certain time to automatically sync the data. If you are aware that ID number of the original sensor, or you are certain that the vehicle supports OBD communication, it's recommended to copy the sensor, which is simpler and faster. And we'll talk about the process in the next video. If you are interested, please.